You ask the questions, we've got the answers. Hopefully. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Brian. And I'm Jessica. One year ago, we started our diet off with two weeks of potatoes, and we are continuing the celebration of those two weeks with a Q&A. Because, like we said in the intro, you ask the questions and hopefully we have answers for you. Uh, we put it out there that we wanted some questions and you guys sent us a ton of different questions on a ton of different things, but a bunch of you just happened to also ask about our potato time. Yay. We um, decided to split up the Q&A videos into a few different topics. So we'll have one in the future that will just be like personal questions or health or weight loss related questions yeah. um, and other categories. But if you guys have more questions, definitely leave them as comments on our videos. If you could start using the hashtag question on any Q&A video specific questions, then we will be sure to address them in future videos. We yep. have a master spreadsheet that I keep of all the questions because I'm a huge nerd. Um, and we can definitely add it and it will help out greatly if you add hashtag question. Yes, please use the hashtag question and it will help us stay organized. And by us, I mean Jessica, because I don't have any kind of organizational skills. <laughs> That's true. But let's get on to the potato questions. Wait. First, I would like to give a little disclaimer. Um, we are not experts. We are not doctors, obviously. So we're going to answer some questions about the two weeks we ate plain potatoes. But if you guys are thinking about doing something like this, definitely do your own research and you know figure out what will work best for you because not everything works for everyone. Um, we lost weight doing this and this is how we kicked off our quote unquote diet or new lifestyle as we call it now. Um, but it may not be the best for you or your situation. So definitely do your research, but we will answer the best we can based on what happened to us. Yep. Oh, so now potato question time? Yes. Yes! Potato questions! <laughs> So one of the questions we get asked most frequently is, why on earth did you eat two weeks of nothing but potatoes? Well, the answer is pretty simple, actually. Uh, we got the idea from Penn Jillette and his book, Presto. He started off his diet with two weeks of potatoes. So Brian was the one who first found out about Penn Jillette and his potatoes and his 100 pound weight loss. And I got the book Presto and read it and I really connected to him because he wasn't just another person telling me this is the way you should lose weight. He was somebody who'd actually lost the weight, who'd done it himself, who'd been through it. And a lot of the way that he thought about dieting really connected with me. Um, so when I read the book, I was like, let's do it. Let's do it exactly the way he did it because I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to these things. Mm -hmm. And so I was just like, let's find out as much as we can about exactly what he did and copy it. So in line with that though, People also ask us the question, but why specifically two weeks? It's simply because <laughs> that's what he did. Uh, like we know people who have done one week. We know people who have done three days. Like there's really no right answer for how long you should actually do something like this uh, if you are attempting to do it. But we did it for two weeks specifically because that's what Penn did. We also know about Andrew Spudfit Taylor, who did this for a year, not plain potatoes, but he ate potatoes for a year. And a lot of people have asked us, do we know about Andrew Spudfit Taylor? And we do. And what he did was a whole new level. Yeah. Of just like, that's I, some dedication right there. I can't imagine doing that. But yeah. for us, it was just the two weeks because that's what Penn Jillette did. And that's pretty much it. So why did we only eat plain baked potatoes? Well, the answer is unfortunately the same as the last <laughs> question. Uh, we did it purely because that's what Penn did. Yes. So a lot of people ask us on the comments of, especially on our first video, which we will link to a playlist of our other potato related videos. So if you haven't actually seen 
how we started this journey out or we did a video a few weeks ago about how where we are a year from now and what we've done um, so go check out the links for all that in the description below but a lot of people on the videos will ask wait you can't use butter yep no butter you wait you can't use salt no we didn't use any salt what about other seasonings and stuff uh, like that no no herbs or spices of any kind the only seasoning that Penn actually said in the book he was allowed to use was pepper. And I tried pepper on my plain potatoes and it tasted like metallic to me. It, yeah, did, not it, it, it did not help. It did not help whatsoever. It was not nice. Uh, it was even worse as far yeah, as I'm concerned. I think pepper needs salt to balance it. So it's like, it was just weird. But Jessica, couldn't you make the potatoes in some <laughs> other way? Uh, no. So we... Penn's whole thing was that nothing could be added or subtracted from the potatoes. Yep. So that meant like you didn't want to do mashed potatoes or like, you know, make home fries, chips, because anything that takes the moisture out, obviously baking takes some of the moisture out for yeah. sure. But like anything other than just eating the whole plain baked potato was really kind of a gray area and off limits based yeah. on what Penn did. So that's what we decided to do. Yep. Now, I will say that since we have done this two weeks of potatoes and posted about it and gotten all kinds of feedback from you guys, there are a couple of things that we found out about that maybe would have been more like rational to do than two weeks of plain potatoes. One of them is the McDougal's, uh, what they call Mary's Mini. Mm -hmm. And we'll put some links below for information about that, as well as Janine Elder has a book called The Potato Reset, mm -hmm. which is actually really cool because both of those programs, they're still you know potato or starch based, but you can add other stuff to it. So you can have other flavorings and you know stuff like you yeah. know vegetables, stuff like that. So those may actually be better for somebody who is trying to just reset themselves with this kind of diet. Um, for us, the potatoes were more, like they weren't supposed to taste good. So we weren't really trying to, you know, do potatoes with a plant-based cheese sauce, for example. Yeah. Because we weren't trying to, we were trying to like disassociate ourselves from all those things that we craved. Yep. So if there's a lot more information about this in our other potato videos, like I said, so check out those links and let us know if you have any other questions about that. So a lot of people ask us how many potatoes we actually ate per day when we were doing the two weeks of potatoes. So I, of course, love my math, and I got out my trusty phone as a calculator and punched the numbers, and here's what I came up with. So on average, I think Brian was eating about five to six of the russet potatoes, like a medium to large size, approximately seven ounce potato per day. And that was about one or two of those per meal, just depending on the, on the day. He also threw in a couple of sweet potatoes here and there, but I would say five to six potatoes average size per day. For me, I liked the little um, like Yukon gold or Dutch yellow potatoes. So I probably ate about five or six of those per meal or about 15 to 18 per day. Now, when it comes, somebody also asked how much in weight we actually ate for the potatoes. So that's where I did some number crunching. And I think Brian's was probably between two pounds to two and a half pounds per day, which in kilograms, because somebody did ask, it comes out to about 0.91 kilograms up into 1.13 kilograms. For me, I think I was eating more like one and a half to two pounds of potatoes per day, which is 0.68 kilograms up on the high end to 0.91 kilograms. So these are kind of the estimates. I would say that was an average day where we ate like what we, sh you know, what we tried to eat. When we ate. When we ate. As it got toward the end, it was harder for us to eat. Like the last four or five days, we were just gagging and like it was just not a pleasant thing to eat them. So we didn't yeah. get through that many. But I'd say during the bulk of our days of the potato diet, that's what we were eating. Jessica, mm -hmm. what'd you drink during those two weeks? I drank plain water. So side note about me is I don't actually, I never actually liked soda really. No, she doesn't. So I didn't really have a problem getting off of soda or anything like that. I did drink plain 
unsweetened iced tea before we started this, I basically would either drink tea or water. And when we started the two weeks of potatoes, I was like, you know what? I'll just do plain water. Like, why not? And I drank tea. Yes. Because there was no way I was giving up caffeine during those two weeks yes. as well. But that also leads us to the next question that people have asked us, which is, uh, can I have coffee? Because a lot of people yes. were like, there's no way I can give up coffee like during that time period. Yes, you can have coffee. It just has to be black coffee. Yes. Someone also asked if we took any supplements during the two weeks of potatoes. So we didn't know like anything about what we were getting ourselves into as far as eating the plant-based diet or what kind of supplements or anything we would need. So during the two weeks, we didn't take anything. Um, now, since we've been eating a whole food plant-based diet for the past year, we are taking a few things and we will definitely be going into that a little bit more in detail mm -hmm. in, our, in one of our future Q&A videos. Yeah. How did we stay motivated? Sheer willpower. It's that simple, actually, for me. Uh, I am entirely self-motivated. Nobody else gets me to do anything that I don't want to do, as Jessica for me. knows. <laughs> no, well, even then, for her to get me to do something, it is, it is absolutely a struggle for her. And it's finally me just giving in and being like, fine, I will do what you want. But... For me, for my own personal life, if I want to accomplish something, I have to want to do it. And that's, that's what I used as my motivation. Not to mention, I kind of looked at it like an extreme challenge. That's kind of what I did, is that I, I had in my mind, like, I'm going to accomplish these two weeks. And it was tough, because like right in the middle there, right on, on uh, like a Sunday, it was a Sunday, I was just like, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can continue on. I don't think this, like, this is stupid. Like, we've done a week. Like, or, you know, this is, this, we, we, we're, we're good. We're good now. Let's, let's move on to the next thing. <laughs> and then Jessica was like, nope, we're sticking through this. We're going to do the two weeks. And I was like, okay, fine. And then I resigned myself to finishing out the two weeks. Yeah, that's where my perfectionist tendencies kind of kicked in for me. It was just like, it was more about, we said we're gonna do this. Everybody, you know, our friends, family know that we said we're gonna do this and we're just gonna stick to it no matter yeah. what. But I don't think it, we would have been able to do that without each other. So um, people ask like, you know, how were we able to stay motivated and have the willpower to do this? Brian started at 514 pounds. Like, yeah, he, my motivation was <laughs> I didn't wanna die. Yeah, I mean, we were, I mean, we didn't, we both had some health issues, nothing like major that we can point out and say, oh, this was happening, but the writing was on the wall. Like, yeah. you know, I was 285 pounds, he was 514. There was no way that we were gonna continue and be healthy at those weights. Yeah. So for me, it was just like, it was taking my life back. It was, it was just a number of things that kept me going. Um, but without each other I don't think we would have been able to do it mm -mm. because the days that I wanted to quit were the days that he was like let's keep going and the days that he wanted to quit I was you know we're almost done like let's just keep yeah. doing it um, people also ask along the same lines of like if we had any cravings or like were you know tempted to go off off of the potatoes yep I think the best thing for that was we cleared out our entire pantry we and did. everything fridge it was all completely empty like all we had was potatoes yeah so there was nothing else to choose from when we were at home and we didn't let ourselves go out and buy anything you're else. like oh you're hungry guess what we have potatoes yeah that's mm -hmm. what we got but I mean the cravings oh, yeah. were definitely the there the first day like the after the first meal of eating potatoes I literally we live in a, like a city area and I walked to a grocery store and like was gazing at the pizza like I need pizza I just I just want to have one more piece of pizza like I was this close to buying you know like super close so the cravings were there I would say after the first maybe week or so we just didn't feel that good at all so we didn't want anything but yeah um, the but the yeah. worst part for me though were definitely some of the smells because like walking to the car like I could smell uh, the barbecue from the joint uh, that's a couple blocks away. Which, walking into the office, I could smell the diner across the street. Like, yeah, those were exceptionally hard. But at the same time, 
Like, I just had it in my head. I'm going to accomplish this. I'm yeah. going to win. I'm going to beat it. And and I did. And the only reason that I really even didn't succumb to all that is because I wanted to finish it. And then at the same time, I didn't want to let Jessica down. And I wanted her to accomplish it too. And so I didn't, I felt that I couldn't, I couldn't not finish this out. Yeah. So did we cheat at all during those two weeks? No, I didn't. No. Did you? No. Did you cheat? No. <laughs> you can tell me. I didn't either. You can be honest. <laughs> no, we did not cheat. I didn't have anything else besides plain potatoes. Um, again, like I said, we had no options around here. So yeah, just... we, we literally set it up in, in our favor to not have anything to possibly cheat with in here. Like our refrigerator was bare. Our freezer was basically empty. Uh, like the, the pantry, like we didn't use anything for that. Like even at work, like I didn't really have access to anything anyway. It's like we don't even have salt at the office. Like, so I couldn't have even added yeah. anything there. When like, we've done, like, when we've done previous diets, there's always a temptation of on the way home from work, going to the drive through and getting something. But with this, I think because it was so black and white, like you can either eat a potato or you can eat nothing. There was yeah. no gray area. None. So it wasn't like, oh, well, I could go to Taco Bell and still get like something that fits in my diet. It was like, no. Nope. I maybe could go to Wendy's and get a plain potato, but that's about it. <laughs> like, it's like, here are your options. You can have a potato. It's like, oh, okay, can, can I have this other thing? Is that yeah. a potato? <laughs> no, it's not. So therefore you can't Yeah, have I it. think that made it easier not to cheat because it was, it was either potato or no potato. Yep, that was it. So, I don't recall potatoes creeping into my dreams. I mean, uh, it's it, They possible. may have. I don't... I'd, I mean, who even asked that question? <laughs> Actually, wait, wait, wait. It was that one dude on Instagram yeah. with the Pomeranians, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. Uh, I love your pictures. Your palms are gorgeous. Yes, they are. No, uh, we... I don't know. I... I tend to only remember dreams if I actually talk about them. And so it's very well possible that yeah. my entire dreams were for that two weeks were just like potato, potato, potato. But it was probably the opposite of that though. It was probably dreaming more so about other foods that I wasn't eating. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, yeah, I don't really recall dreaming about anything in particular. Uh, so yeah, I can't really answer this question. Just, just imagine it did. Just uh, let, let's play out the, the weird dream scenario of Brian's head where it's just potatoes as far as the eye can see. And then they become sentient and try to hunt me down. So make that happen in your head. There you go. That's crazy. Someone also asked about our energy levels during the two weeks, which if you saw the first video, you know that it wasn't great. Um, I think, I, I mean, it was just a lot of, because we just tried to sleep as much as possible and not move around as much as yeah. possible. It ended up working out over, it was over the 4th of July weekend that we were finishing out. So we had a lot of days off work, um, which worked to our benefit because we didn't have to do a lot, but it also harmed us because we were just sitting around here all day thinking about potatoes, eating potatoes, thinking about eating other things besides potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the energy levels were not great, I would say. Definitely not. Uh, we kept crashing like after every few hours and uh, it, was, it was generally not good, so. I think a lot of it was just because we weren't eating enough potatoes. We like, could have eaten more and yeah. probably felt better, but it's, yeah. we just couldn't, we couldn't do it after a while. Yeah, we were allowed to eat as many potatoes as we wanted, so it's just a matter of how many we could actually eat before you're we like, no, no more potatoes. <laughs> yeah. So how much weight did we actually lose during those two weeks? I lost about 25 pounds, if I recall correctly. Yes. And I lost about 20 pounds during those two weeks. Now, I will say, after the two weeks of potatoes, the next week when we switched to the whole food plant-based diet, 
we were both kind of like stationary for that week. We didn't really lose yeah. or anything like I, that. Yeah, I gained like a pound or two or yeah. something like that. So. And then after that is when we just, you know, started, it just started losing, losing like weight. over time. So a lot of, I feel like the 20, the 45 pounds combined that we lost during the potato weeks, a lot of it was probably water weight, you know, it was just because we weren't eating, yeah. who knows. But it, it wasn't obviously a lot of like our fat. Yeah. It was. It was other stuff. It was the fact that we didn't have a, have the food in our systems, you know, because we were just eating the potatoes and like, uh, it, it really was was a couple of different things. But yeah, we we didn't really really start losing the weight until we switched to the whole food plant based diet. Yeah. So there's a few different questions we get about basically what we achieved by doing the two weeks of potatoes. So it's you know. The original point of it, what we thought the point of it was based on reading Penn's book, is kind of to cleanse your palate. Um, there's all kinds of stuff about does it reset your gut biome or some crazy yeah. science-y thing, I don't know. Um, and in reality, I feel like um, as far as cleansing our palate, I think it did in some way just because everything else tasted better after that. Yeah. So whenever we switched to the whole food plant-based I remember the first night, well, Brian ate his corn, which was on our uh, video, but I was literally just eating baby carrots, like, oh my God, these taste so good. Um, so I think that definitely cleansing our palate was definitely something that it did. Yeah. I don't know how much it like reset anything in our bodies or anything like that. I don't know if I really buy into that, but. Yeah. I would say that it, it didn't necessarily reset our bodies, but it definitely reset our minds. Yes. Uh, it was it was an absolute mental challenge, and uh, because of that mental challenge, it made it easier for us to stick to something else afterwards. Yes. And that's the thing. So somebody asked if it jump started our weight loss. Yes, it did, yeah. but not because of the potatoes. Yeah, it had nothing to do with the potatoes. We could have eaten, you know beans or rice, rice or, or something else yeah. for two weeks and done kind of the same thing. Um, so it did jump start like it put us, I, I always like to say that it like put us so invested into this diet that we were, you know, this lifestyle change that we were like, yeah. we were on a roll. Like you, you need to lose some and feel good about that before you can, you know, at the beginning of a diet before you really get into it and buy into yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the other thing, uh, I guess people ask like, is there any other benefits from it um, of doing the potatoes? I like, I just think it, it it put us through this mental exercise. It made us think, it made us understand, you know, our relationship with food better. And yeah. um, it put us through a lot of different trials when it came to that. So I think it was just a learning thing. It was more just a mental, like, you know, just learning that, hey, we don't have to eat this other way we ate for our entire lives. There is something else after, you know, there is another way to do it. Yeah. So we could rattle on and on about what we learned or achieved from these two weeks of potatoes for a long time, but yeah. we did actually do another video um, that's like what we learned from the two week potato diet. So that will be linked below if you want to check that out and hear us ramble more. I'm sure more. we rehashed <laughs> some of the things there yes. and here oh, like yeah, on this definitely. video too, but it's good to get the information out there because not everybody has seen all of the yeah. videos. And uh, as evidenced by the fact that we were asked these questions when we asked you guys for questions. Yes. Jessica, hmm? do we still only eat potatoes? No. 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 <laughs> we are never doing just the plain potatoes <laughs> for two weeks ever again. Never. No, I'm still, I'm still, I feel, no. I still feel like we do it. <laughs> we could, uh, we will test out Mary's mini. We will test out the potato reset. Yes. I am not doing that again. I am sorry. I just refuse to do it. I don't know. Martin the potato mage might give us a throwdown challenge. Oh my god. We might have to accept it. I'm just saying. Oh whatever. <laughs> uh, no, we don't eat potatoes. Still, once we we got done with those two weeks, we switched to a whole food plant based yes. diet. And that's what we have lost the bulk of our weight uh, doing over the yes. last year. Yeah, so like he said, a lot of people think like, they'll come across one of our videos now, from now and they'll say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're still eating potatoes. Literally later. happened yesterday. It's like, no, like we aren't, we didn't, that's not, and, that, and that's what happened to Penn Gillette, I think too. He got a lot of people who 
were who yeah. just associate with him losing weight eating potatoes and don't realize that he did this whole you know whole food plant based thing afterwards to yeah. actually lose the weight. So no, the potatoes were just our starting point. Just those two weeks, but this kind of leads to a sub question: Do we still like potatoes? And the answer is now yes. yes. Uh, for a long time there, it was it was a hard no, uh, especially for Jessica. I started to like warm up to it maybe a couple months ago, and I was like, eh, it, after we started the channel, actually, yeah. we started talking yeah. about potatoes all the time. And well, I was like, I kind of want to go back and because, I want to have a potato. Yeah, because people would comment and they'd be like, oh, it's so sad that you guys don't like potatoes anymore because they're so good, and you know that made us think about it in a lot of ways. And we're like, well, it's not that we hate them; it's just we have this. It, it's it was, like it's it was like, a mental thing. It's it, like when I smelled in the video where I cried. Yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago, it's like when I smelled those potatoes. I have certain songs or certain things that I attach to certain times in my life, and so the smell or the look of just seeing potatoes reminds me of all the the mental pain we went through in those two weeks of yeah. Just like it was just it was a lot to go through, and so. Um, I attached that with the potatoes, but now I, and I'll never look at a potato the same way again, but like we ate hash browns for breakfast this morning and they were super tasty or we did our loaded potatoes the other week and I was like, wow, these are really good Yeah. and they're super filling. So that's always a good thing when on a whole food plant-based diet. So yes, we do like potatoes once again. Uh, we weren't away from them permanently. Yes. So I I think that's pretty much all the potato questions that we have had so far. Uh, if you are wanting to send us questions for future Q&As, doesn't matter if it's uh, potato related, you can ask us anything, be it personal or about our weight loss or... Uh, or about peef. Or about peef even. <laughs> if you've got questions about peef, please uh, put those in the comments below, but please also use the hashtag question so we can keep track of everything. Yes, YouTube will let us search our comments by hashtag. So if you put that in there, we'll be able to find them a lot easier. Yep. But another way that you can ask us a question is on Instagram. You can always send us a message on there or you can uh, follow our stories because a lot of times I'll throw up a, you know, a question thing there and ask for questions yeah. um, so you can always interact with us on there and you can find links to all of our other social media and our website etc in the description below yes but other than that please make sure you subscribe <laughs> and uh, if you are so inclined please click the bell that is next to it it'll allow you to get all of the notifications whenever we post something on YouTube uh, but I think that's all I got mm -hmm. I think that's all she's got we will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye-bye.